According to the World Health Organization, the United States leads the world in ladder deaths. Each year, there are more than 164,000 emergency room treated injuries and 300 deaths in the U.S. that are caused by falls from ladders. Most of those deaths could have been prevented if the person using the ladder was trained to use it safely. That's why in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use ladders safely and avoid becoming another statistic. There are two general categories of ladders. Fixed ladders, which are permanently attached to the wall or landing, and portable ladders, which are moved from task to task. This video will focus on portable ladders. Let's start with general safety information. Always review the manufacturer's instructions to make sure you are using the ladder in the way it was designed. Check the load capacity, inspect the condition of the ladder, and make sure there are no loose steps. Lastly, check the area you plan to use the ladder. Make sure the surface is flat, even, and provides enough traction to avoid slips. Now that we have inspected the ladder and ensured it is safe to support you and the work you will be performing, let's discuss some do's and don'ts. You must maintain three points of contact and face forward whenever ascending or descending the ladder. This means you cannot climb a ladder or go down it with a tool in your hand. If a tool is in your hand and you are not using three points of contact, you could lose your balance and fall. If you need to transport tools up the ladder, use a tool belt or have someone hand the tools to you. When maneuvering or working on a ladder, never reach out further than arm's length. Always keep your body and your center of gravity between the ladder rails. This will keep you balanced and minimize the risk of slipping or falling. Lastly, before using a ladder, check the surrounding areas for electrical power lines. Using an aluminum ladder next to power lines is unsafe and can be fatal if the ladder were to touch the power line. Instead, use a fiberglass or wooden ladder. Now let's take a look at A-frame ladders. A-frame ladders look like this and are among the most common ladders you will see and use. Whenever using an A-frame ladder, make sure that each middle arm support is locked and the ladder is level on the ground. 20% of step ladder injuries come from descending down the ladder and missing the last few steps. So, when you are getting off the ladder, make sure to take your time. Keep at least three points of contact and ensure to make it to the last step safely. Do not rush yourself off the ladder. An extra few seconds can be the difference between a job completed safely and a long lasting injury. Do not stand on the top two steps of an A-frame ladder. The use of those steps will make the ladder top heavy and more likely to tip. If you think you need to use the upper steps, then the ladder you are using is too short for the job. Locate a taller ladder to use for the task. Let's move on to extension ladders. The extension ladder consists of two or more sections that travel in guides or brackets arranged so you can adjust the ladder's length. They are used to lean against tall structures or walls to reach elevated locations. To use them safely, you'll need to make sure the ladder is stable. Before placing your ladder, check that the floor and the wall the ladder will lean on is flat, even, and not slippery. Keep in mind that backwards and forwards are not the only direction a ladder can fall. They can also slide left or right, so check that the ladder is stable in all directions before climbing on it. Next, make sure that the locking section of the ladder is secure and will support your weight when using it. For jobs in high traffic areas, place a barricade around the ladder to keep it from being knocked over or bumped into. Using these barricades is important, not only to keep the person using the ladder from losing balance and falling from someone accidentally bumping the ladder, but also to keep people clear from underneath of the ladder in case material or tools were to fall. The next consideration is pitch. This means the angle of the ladder between the floor and the wall. If the base of the ladder is too close to the wall or structure, the ladder angle is too steep. And with someone's weight at the top, a wrong movement or gust of wind can send the ladder falling backward. If the base of the ladder is too far from the structure or base of the wall, then the angle of the ladder is too flat and the feet of the ladder could slide out underneath of you. Remember the 4 to 1 ratio. For every 4 feet in height, your ladder's feet must be 1 foot away from the wall. For example, if you place your ladder 12 feet high, its feet should be 3 feet away from the wall. Extension ladders can be used to ascend or descend from elevated locations, like a roof or platform. 
When used in this way, make sure the top of the ladder extends at least three feet above the surface you will be ascending. This ensures you will have railing to support yourself as you climb off the ladder. An easy way to get hurt on the extension ladder is by leaning outside the center of gravity. Doing this causes the ladder to lean and fall, even if you think you might have a firm grip. This is why you should never perform work leaning away from the center gravity of the ladder. Keep your body between the two rails and work within arm's distance. If you're having trouble reaching something, instead of leaning, climb down and move your ladder. The last ladder we'll cover is the step ladder. These step ladders resemble stairs. Some have handrails and some do not. Usually step ladders with one to four stairs do not have handrails where stepladders with more than four steps do have handrails. They are used to ascend to elevated locations, like our autoclaves. Before using a stepladder, inspect it. Make sure it has no bends or cracks in the frame, including the legs. If it has wheels, check that there is a locking mechanism and that it is functional. You do not want the ladder to roll while you're on it. If the ladder has feet instead of wheels, make sure the rubber grips are intact and secure to prevent it from slipping. And that's it. Ladders are a useful tool and can be used safely if you take the time to use them correctly. Or they can be very dangerous if you don't. So please spend the extra time to set it up on a solid, slip-free surface away from anyone that might bump into it or knock it over. Make sure your movement and actions are slow, steady, precise, and within the ladder center of gravity. Don't be afraid or in too much of a hurry to ask a co-worker nearby to spot you, hand you a tool, or help move the ladder to a new position. Those few extra moments can save you from a lifelong injury or death. I'm Victor, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video.